I just want to welcome everybody here tonight. I just want to say uh, it's good to see everybody. And we're going to pray in. Uh, as soon as uh, Grandpa gets ready, he's going to say a prayer for us. And how's everybody doing this evening? You know, it's a, it was a hot day, windy day, and I just want to say uh, our heart goes out to the Buffalo War Buffalo Head Warrior family. Uh, condolences to uh, Aunt Cindy. You know, uh, we'll be praying for you, your kids over there and your grandchildren. But tonight we're going to talk about articles in Ponca. Articles in Ponca are the key to uh, our language and a lot of different things. And uh, my grandpa's going to help me on the first three here. We're going to go out of this dictionary, this Ponca dictionary right here, out of page 35, if you got your dictionary. And if you got your handout, it's in the same thing, page 35, that we gave out. Yeah, that's what Grandpa, put this in real quick. Oh. He's coming up here. We're going to do it on uh, two articles in our Ponca language. It's uh, a ka and a ma. that describe parts of the human body, also used with circular objects, either singular or plural.
the car was for life. When you, if you see something that's not moving but it's al alive, that's what I heard. But I'm not sure. I'm, I need to learn these and their usage myself. <laughs> and that's about all I know about those. I think you need somebody who's more up, can use these. Mm -hmm. Like I would use a, a ma as like uh, shell, shell ma, monashi. The policeman is sitting there, not moving, but he's alive. So you, so you know, say, chill, ma, well, no shade, then K. He's sitting right there, but he's not moving, and he's alive. And uh, it's an aka, oh, it's like, no, aka, it's going to rain. But I, I don't know where else. I've heard those before, but I don't know how to use them. I may. I've heard that. But it, I don't connect it with the one or that certain one. I've I used I heard that. Long. Now, I've used that one. Like when you say you're talking along to somebody and and you know, say, uh, 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 oh, I'm trying to think of uh, New Day, throat, New Day, long. Throat, sore throat. No day, no. Yeah. yeah. And then, but long also could be like uh, a boy standing over there by the door. You could say, tell long, losing long. He's standing over there. Is what I thought long was for. Or you could say. Uh, Job a jinga long to tree stump. Would use the, you would use long in that because that tree stump is brown, it's short, so that the jinga. I'd have to pass on them other ones because <laughs> I need to write those down and use them myself. You know. Well, that's that's about all far as I can go, except for gay. My goodness, there's a song that says Wadon Gay. That Nuda Hong is telling them to look all around, everywhere. Look look for them. Wadon Gay. And then K used with words that describe an inanimate thing or idea. Mon say we three food the computer is good. Mm -hmm. It's an inanimate thing. And I think you could use that if you were making a plan too. You could use K in that, but I, I forgot how to say plan. Well they don't yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. But that that's as much as I know about these articles. And I'm here to learn them and mm -hmm. write down so I can put words together. I know yeah. 560 words, but I can't make a decent sentence. <laughs> that's well, that's why what we're, I'm here. we're gonna we're gonna get to that, Grandpa. Uh oh. Oh, let me see that marker, Grandpa. Oh, yes, uh -huh. Mark. Oh, it's, I 
right here, we're going to talk about these four articles real briefly. These articles, these articles are popular articles. When you use this word right here, thought, that takes precedent over anything out of these 11 that I'm going to show you. This Amen and okay, I'm not going to put them in here yet because they don't need to be in here yet because it's going to confuse you until you learn these. I'll just put them up there. Okay, this word right here, "akal," it means it's something that's made manifest. Manifest means it's made known. That there's no obscurity about it. You know exactly who and what we're talking about. In the, in the Ponca language, in the culture, in, in the beginning, we had multiple gods in Ponca. The only three that I know is Wakanda, Wakanda Gi, Wakanda Da. Wakanda Gi is a a water deity, a water monster, a water god, but nowadays they use Wakanda Gi for a monster, but in the beginning it meant a water god. And then we say Wakanda da, that's a thunder god. And then Wakanda is a great mystery of creator. When you use Wakanda call is when we use the word in Christianity. That there's no mistake that you're talking about the God. No other God before or after him. He's the one. Wakanda ma can mean multiple things in both because a ma has to do with movement or not movement. It has to do with uh, being plural, being singular, either or. To be alive or to be a dead. That's animate or inanimate. That's why it's obscure. So we say, Wakanda Ma, that can mean that God, he's moving by, say, Wakanda Ma, Walitan, God's working. You know, or he's moving, he's doing things, or you say, Wakanda Walitan Ma. The God, the God is working because it's showing that when he's doing something, he's in a motion. Or it could just be Wakanda Ma. He's not doing nothing but just standing there. But what I'm trying to tell you is it's obscure unless you add on to these sentences so you know what you're talking about. You can say, walk on them, box seat. And we already know that ain't going to happen. That's saying God is driving. God is driving. But I'm telling you, show you that it has many meanings. You can say, walk on them, God. Naji. God is standing. Because remember, Naji means two things. It means to stand, and it means rain, depending on the context of the sentence. A lot of words in Bunker have dual meanings or could have to have up to five or six meanings, depending on the context of the sense. That's why when we talk Bonka, we have to learn all of these articles here. And there's another one. It's like this is one that uh, is really obscure. Wadi, and I'll get to that. And I'm going to show you something. Right here, Wakanda cake. That can stand for the God that's uh, helpless, the God that's dead, the God that's... Uh, like I said, it has this right here, K, has the meaning of something that's long, elongated, dead, helpless, or sitting down. The only time that you would use this form in a human would be, you would say, Jinga K, Ubetan. The baby is wrapped up. 
Betong means to wrap something. Ubetong means to be wrapped in. And so you would say that was the only way that you could use this orb was a, someone that got shot and they're almost dead. They're helpless. This is not meant for animate use, but in rare cases, it is accepted when someone is being almost on, upon death or somebody is really hurt or an infant. Those are the only times that you can use K. And this word, but let me use this one. I want to show you guys something on something you can really understand to be easier. I'm going to stop with this one to give you an idea. E and Bunka means rock. E means the rock. E among could mean the rock, or it could mean the rocks because it's obscured. You have to have something on the end of it to understand what it's talking about. E and It could be a rocks, a plateaus that are rocks in a line, but they're standing. Horizontal. I mean vertical, excuse me, vertical. And then K is a singular rock. Just say that out of the, out of them plateaus and one of them got knocked over by the wind. E A K. Must fit that because it's it's lying down and it's singular. This is plural, this is plural or singular, this is singular only. And we say E A E A G E A G. That means the rocks. This could only be plural, but these rocks are naturally scattered. Or if I got a, a handful of rocks and I threw them, wherever they landed, they would fall naturally, would mean the rocks. When you say eat and don't, that's talking about a round rock. No <coughs> doubt about it, it's, a, it's round, whether it's small or little. And then if you was to say a boulder, you would say eat and don't, then that would mean the boulder. You can say, Ee, Zigak, she get. The small rocks or pebbles are everywhere scattered naturally. Ee, Thomas did it too. The rocks are tall. And we can just say, Ee, Zi, Demma. The rocks are red. But like I told you, you gotta get, you got, this one right here is tricky because when you use it, it cannot be confused with this one. E am E am It can't even be used that way. I'm gonna tell you why it can't be used that way. Right here is the shoulder that don't know she's the dog is standing. 
This word thunk can only be used for things that are alive. The thing, something that's standing, and you have to add nanji to it, otherwise it won't work. That literally means something that's singular and it's alive and it's standing, but it cannot be used alone. It has to have nanji with it. Linke, it means the, but it has, has everything to do with sitting down or being in a relaxed state of mind. And it has to be alive and it has to be singular. She means you go, what about the linke? The girl sewing. Or it could even be, you could even change it. You could, you could mix these words up a little bit. The girl's laughing. Change it, but you, like I said, you move these words around. You just got to know and understand Bonker. I'm going to do my best to teach you guys so that you understand. And right here, that word Bonka, this is, this is the plural Dink case. So everything I just told you, like how that singular, how that singular right there, this is plural and it has to be animate subjects. And so right there we say Nuzhinga. Who knows what Nuzhinga means? Nuzhinga. Yeah. Zonka means, so when you say Nuzhinga Zonka, what does it mean? The little boys. Because it, it's plural. So you say Nuzhinga Zonka. Chagai. Chagai means to cry, but we say Chagai means they're crying. So it says the boys are crying. Nuzhinga Zonka, Chagai. comes from the Dakota word, but it's become a clan name in the Washabe clan and a Nikapashna clan. We adopted that word as clan names that we considered proper Washabe or Nikapashna Ijaja. So anyway, Alpha the Kali. This word is singular and it's animate. That's the animal subject. That means something that's alive that's singular. So right here it says, Umpa the Kitali. The elk is running. Tali means running. Remember, we just had this whole deal with, you could say, no, hey guys, you to haul ass or to run fast. We could also say, no, I say come. It means to to get someone, but I was always told it was only for an animal racing or a car racing in modern times. So we're going to use Dolly for running. There's multiple ways to say this. Machu, my big guy. The bears are dead, or the bears are gone. You can say, ye, then guy, or you can say, uh, what die. There's a bunch of ways to say it, but this is the way I choose because I believe it's easiest. Because a lot of people, when you hear people say, then gay, what does it mean? Then gay. It's gone. No more. So, machuma, then guy, then guy just pluralizes it. Apple, we means one, or an, or a. Gonna is to one, he, she, or him, or they. 
Somebody or who? So shame me, go on, Isaiah. Who wants an apple? Or who wants one apple? But it makes more proper sense in English to say, who wants a apple? Shame we go on, Isaiah. Okay, these words they common. We said common. I mean, they said but not all the time. Okay means she's the woman. And when they say she's the woman, it has it has a, they're either having a question of who they're talking about, who they're looking for, who who died, who had a baby, but she is the one. where we're at. It could be singular or plural, i.e., but it means here, she, or it, or they are coming to where we are. To where our present place of uh, occupation or standing or location. So, no, I'll may I. It's him. He's coming. It's him. He is coming. No doubt about it. The man is coming. It's him. talking about something that's precise in a precise <laughs> Okay, look right here. These words right here says, Sheva de Glinga. Sheva de Glinga. Sit right there. I'm talking about no other place but right there. And then, Sheva de Glinga. When I say Sheva de Glinga, I'm talking about sit right here. This means there. This means here. This means in a precise spot that is away from the speaker, which is me. Gawa de Glinga. Gawa de Glinga. She sat, she sat somewhere, but it was, it was, it's, a, it's where I couldn't, I visually couldn't see him or her. God was the link. My almost all relatives, I never heard them speak. I was talking to some, uh, on my little, I got a little punk of counsel with other people in different states that I talked with. I've never heard them use this word. And I was saying they didn't, Omaha relatives, I just never heard it. Wadi. And I believe it should be in here, but it's not. It's so commonly used in the past by Ponkas, but now we just say, Shadow de Glinga, or Shadow, there. And there's many ways to say it. You can say, Shehi, Shehide, Shehi, Te, Shehi, K. There's a whole bunch of ways, but we're not going to get into that right now. I'm just showing you what articles, Ponka articles are. And then other ones are going to turn into pronouns with articles that are combining into something else to make something different, and it's more complex. We'll probably a few months away from that. Maybe a year. So we'll get there. So, we're going to go over this again. A call. Remember all these right here, here, except for this one. We mean the. And this one, excuse me, I forgot to put that up there. A call is something that's the, or the thing, the subject is made manifest. There's no mistaking that it, that's it. A mall is obscure. Because it can be something sitting still, moving, not sitting, but let's say, the phrase, something moving or not moving. 
It could be a singular person or a plural people. Yeah, it's just for a minute. Uh, Same as me. Objects that are not alive. You know, there you go. Rocks, people say rocks ain't alive. But anyway, but it can mean so many different things. You have to know it's what the context of the sentence is, or otherwise it won't make sense. There you go. Okay, means something that is standing, that it's plural, that it's inanimate, that it cannot be alive. And it could be something that's in a row, that's plural. Houses, trees. K is something that is singular that was originally and always used for something that is dead, lying down, or helpless. And the helpless goes back in too. Uh, someone that got shot, someone got run over, somebody that's so sick, they can't do it. Everyone. We have a lot of that going on right now with that COVID-19, a lot of people are helpless. So in that case, when you're talking about individuality of the people that's going through the, the sicknesses, which is wachegai, wachegai. That means the sick, those that are sick, the plural. You would use that as an individual level with K because they're still alive, but they're so bad, the condition mm -hmm. not being able to breathe or having fever or uh, unconscious. So the, you would use K. And also, like I told you, the prime symbol of the shape of K. Ube come. You're just making a statement. The baby is wrapped up. Like that little baby, so they don't lay them down. Right we on. wrap them when they're little, the infants. Well, pompously, anyway. This word gay has to do with multiple things. And it can be used. This is used when you would say, what are you going to what well, these ones, the uh, idea, what well, these ones, God gave the plans or the ideas, it's used in that one because when it's used with God, it's, it's obscure, it's not obscure, but it's, uh, it's not it's not uh, visual. But up here, they say it's not visual, even though in, we can say that we see it, but you use God gave. And that goes back into something that's a little more technical, I shouldn't use that. So just just remember, this is plural, it's something that's inanimate, that is scattered naturally. And not in no particular role. It has to be something that's just like, like I told you. Can, the sea, the seashells, rocks, or if we grab something and we just throw it, it's going to fall. How it's going to fall, so it's considered natural. Bump is only used with singular things that are animate. In some cases, everything that you use with the human body is bump. You can say bump, 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 God. They got big heads. Or you could say, see uh, uh, on the ankle. And I thought that when I was younger, I thought in modern times, I've heard them say K and K and don't. And they said that we do use that, but it's not. Say, like say, what uh, the hairballs? Hold on, hold on. For K, you would say, mm -hmm. K. Yeah, they say it's the human child. mouth. But when you use the animal, now if you refer to the animal, you say to hear the Ooh, e that was loud. Now, e haw haw means skin, but e haw means lips. And so anything to do with that, and the tongue, like I said, uh, I, I, I oh, almost thought that, but my grandfather, they told me, his son, it is understood that we use that modern funk, but it said it is not correct. They said it's the Damn, generation which just sounds like a man. Under. And they said that Oops. because the way we change the population, we're trying to feed like America. Then again, we got to put it there because it's not proper. So anything that burns the human body, remember that. Yes. We're going to use both. We're not going to use K or K, even though it's understood. We're going to teach the proper one. We're not going to use that no more. Not, not in our classes. We're going to do the best that we can right. to have the purity of our language. Yeah. And then as we go further along, we can show you how we, uh, we merge no, words and mean. then how we oh, okay, do slang. Yeah, 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 this is the sentence you get. Yes, of course. I love it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 back to this. No, it's for all for the human body and also for objects in the world. Like you would say, majon, the land. You say, we ask you, but okay, the majon, that means Indian country. And there's a couple ways to say that too. And if you're talking about anything to do with the, the water, uh, even then they said it was dumb, but it's been changed. It says, need cake, the water. Need cake, the water, when it's bigger or larger. While the water tends to take. But it could also be used in that wachiska. Don't, wachiska is a creek, or knee hunger. That's a spring, a natural spring that's coming up. Like you got all the cow around, it's the warm water. And then right here, when did they 
can only be used with humans or animals that are alive and standing. And it has to be singular. They can only be used with things that are singular and alive that are standing. They oh, yeah, can, yeah, can only it, yeah. be used with things that are alive. <laughs> animals or humans that are sitting down that rest or say like an animal, you would say, uh, let's see, Juanita, Mashon, they think the animal, it's in it, it's it the animals in its den. Because it's in a place of familiarity, a place that you're relaxed, a place that is uh, that feels comfortable around. That's what that word is used for, things that are comfortable or familiar, but you're relaxed, you're finding where you're sitting. Dolpa is the exact pluralness of it. So it's talking about plural subjects that are sitting down, kicking back in a familiar area, they're relaxing and reclining. B can only be used with humans or animals that are in motion, running or walking, skipping or jumping. They gotta be doing something, but they're moving. And it can only be singular. And it can ask to be something alive. Oh, and it's very and mom, cannot be mistaken for mom. Can it be plural of subjects? Yes, it can. What are you talking and about? And they could be alive or they could be dead, but Ma, it's for plural subjects that are alive. It can only be used in humans and animals that are alive and it has to be plural. There's no mistake in that we're talking about plural things that are alive. We in Bonka has four meanings. It means the number one, and don't forget, we have, it means a single, or it means one, but it's talking about a particular subject or an object, so don't get it confused. We means one, then we also means a, it also means and, and in a woman's name, it also means woman. A woman last night, she spoke to me, uh, an older woman, I don't want to say who she was, but she said, my mother, is, my mother gave my da daughter, Grandma Marion's name, and I'm not talking about it. And she said, the name was Thaisant Wee. Thaisant Wee. We're done with this side. Did you guys need to write this, any of this? Can I erase it? Do you need it? Okay. Okay, so anyway, they salt with they means buffalo. Salt means pale, off white, or eggshell white, but also when you're talking about a woman's name, it always means white. So we means woman in a woman's name. It does not mean one in Ponca. When people translate, it's just because they don't know. So when you say they salt means white buffalo woman. Can you say Tezka? And originally Tezka meant the sacred white buffalo, but here and there's still Ponkas that have that name, Tezka. And that means white buffalo. It doesn't mean cow or cattle like it does today, but that's the word that we designated for it. But in the, in the beginning, it meant the sacred white buffalo because they're rare and they're sacred among the Ponka people. And now we use that word, Tatongaska. Tatongaska means the same thing, white buffalo. But back to what I'm saying, so she could have said Tezka Wa'u. Tezka Wa'u would be white buffalo woman, but they we means white buffalo woman. So don't get confused because when we go on names and Ponca names, and we're gonna see if we can get some out to come up because there's some people here that don't have a Ponca name. And we're gonna do something about that. And so when we get to the woman's name, it takes on a whole other game compared to a man's. But now man's is different than a woman's too because oh, a man has a little boy, <laughs> but then when he becomes about I nine to 13, you. He gets a man's name. But a woman, once her name is given to her, usually four days after she's born, traditionally, it will never change. Never. What's today? The ninth? Oh, okay shit. means she is. Birthday. Happy birthday. Ame means he is it. That's him. While the is a particular area that can't be mistaken. The particular. Look, I'm How would you say, I am the one? Uh, I'm not finished the queen, sorry. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm the one that it's me again. that they're talking about. It's me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm the one. Well, and you're going to oh, see it spelled in other ways that I don't use that way. There ain't no other form to use that way. I'm not talking about nobody, but when you see what I'm writing, you already know what I'm talking about.
No other punk has ever, or Omaha, for that matter, no punk or Omaha has ever used that or said that. But in punk, we use that word, where, man. Like you hear, where, 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 you know, you hear them songs. It's, it's me that made you cry. It is I who made you cry. He asked questions. And that comes, it derives from this. It is I. It's it is me. I. And you can say we will it, it changes. There. And so anyway, back to Wadi, it's in a specific place that's designated that cannot be mistaken. And I'm going to do a few small sentences on here and I'm going to show you guys. Does anybody need this? If you got a little time, you can look at this. I'm going to sit down. a lot of information. It is. It's for people who want to learn. I promise you. Yes, but... This, this but, right here but, has but, to be done over and over. And but, on all those handouts, but, all those handouts that I gave you guys, it has these in there. Remember them ones that I told you guys, I said, if you truly want to learn to speak Ponca, you could study them handouts that I gave you and go over them every single day and some of you might have already done that, and you already know what I'm talking about when we're talking about these Ponco articles, and it's going to give examples on how to use them. And the thing is, is like I tell you guys, and I'm not going to stress it enough, and I'm not trying to down or make nobody feel bad. Those of you that really want to speak Ponco, you're going to keep practicing with that paper, because in this time, since no one, not even I, hear it no more like we used to, because they're almost dead, all of them. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to go over these over and over, and then you're gonna have to go back to what Elena always had when we had it on there. You're gonna have to tell all that has a punk alphabet and it tells you how to say them. You gotta go and then that them handouts that I gave you, them 40 sheets of paper, or some cases I gave you and I put them on both sides, be 20 sheets. It's gonna tell you how to speak punk, it's gonna tell you how to say it, and you have to be repetitive in it and keep trying. And don't give up because let me tell you something, you're punka. Punka need you. That means you guys are Ponca, plural. And somebody might say, Ebea, who is that? And you can just tell them, Ponca, Bleha, I'm Ponca. You can just tell them, what, you're being standoffish. You're letting them know it is, it's me that's Ponca, Ponca, Bleha. Or a man will say, Ponca, Bleho. But there's a lot of things that we got to start getting ready for. And I want you guys to start practicing every day on them handouts. And if you didn't get a handout, what I'm talking about, I'll make more copies. And then keep studying. And let me tell you something. You can call me. My phone number is everywhere. And I'm, I'm on social media on all of them. Inbox me. We'll practice all the time. And that's what we got to do because it's going to take repetition. And let me tell you something. Through these past teachers that they had here, a lot of them, we know what they did. They did memorization. But you got to do a different type of memorization. They didn't teach you what each word meant. They didn't teach you how to put these sentences together. How could you ever remember something? You're going to have to remember that whole thing and say, oh, they said that means don't go there. I'm going to teach you why. Don't go there. Don't go there. When you say it in a statement, you would say, La Giga. When a man saying, Don't go there, La Giga. Now, that's not literally talking about moving there because you would say, Mali, La Giga. Now, that means don't move or don't go. Because that, I got to get into the verbs. I don't want to confuse you on that. But Mali and Mali and thee, they, they have a, a, the same particular meaning. But when you use a command form, you cannot use blade, nay, uh, none of those can be used as a command. That can only be used as statements or questions. But in the command form, it'll always be malinga. Malink means to walk. Then it transforms into go when you're using the command form. Nothing else is like it in Ponca. And then you guys, you guys get anything you think about, like I said, laughing out loud, shaking my head, and different types of things like that way. Uh, uh, write them down or write them on that board and if I know them right then there I'll, I'll put it right there if I don't I'll ask somebody to help me that we got left alive that's uh, fluent speaking but we got to start using these words and we got to start modernizing some of our language because a lot of it's already modernized like grandpa he showed something he said uh, the computer's fast that's just one way to say I can say it multiple ways but that's one say means metal means a brain so it's saying the metal brain, that's what Ponca's used, designated that word combined together means computer and Ponca. 
Now, if you're Omaha, let's say Wali Glan, that means a fast thinker. I try to stay up on top of all their, their uh, modern words too because I believe it's important in our survival as a language of Vegiha. Is anybody still using that board? Like I said, I could keep talking about, about all this. But the thing is, is practice, practice, practice. And you're gonna have people that are gonna procrastinate, but don't be that kind of person. I want you guys to really wanna learn this. And like I said, it's possible. It is achievable to speak Ponca. It is achievable, and there's a lot of you women in here. I know your parents are fluent speakers. And men, I know I know for a fact, because I've heard them. I remember Grandpa Ed, I remember all of them. I remember my grandparents, I remember his grandmother. I remember her folks. My Collins family, you know they spoke Ponca. Ain't no doubt about that. We might have been Waka heavy half breeds, but they spoke Ponca like it. <laughs> Boom. That was our language. Every everyone wants to. Every, I think everyone wants to learn, but like, it's a lot. Let me ask you something. How many times have you read that handout I gave you? But you can't. I can't read it because I don't. You just read it, and it's your own voice saying it. Like you can't just say it and pronounce it correctly. You have to hear it from someone else. But in the beginning of it, like I said, I'm going to tell you, this is all you guys that understand this. In the beginning, it teaches you how to say these words, and you have to keep practicing whether it's sh, sh, oh, mm. It's yes. repetitive, and that's it has what, to be done. That's what we need to learn first. It has to be returned. It has to be done so that you could have a return in it. And that return in, in, is, your, is your ability to speak Ponca. And, you know, a lot of you guys may have never heard Ponca, maybe some of you haven't heard Ponca, but the majority of you have, and majority of you use A-China, Ningde, or even Monze, which is, you know, not proper, derogatory, because it's more slang talking bad. And so, but the thing is, is you guys have to want to use them simple words that you learned. It's that easy. Wabahu me. that's a marker. Wabahu. When you use that as a camera for them. As a chairs, table, computer, camera. You have to want to use these every day. Pick out these things and what it is and, and ask me or somebody else. He, Grandpa knows a lot of stuff back there. There's other people, but if you don't know, I'm, I don't care what time of day it is, I'm ready to help. Somebody might open that little bird. Oh, I got it. I'm, I'm ready to help people. This is what I believe my calling was, is that, that and to preach. And like I said, I make many mistakes, but the thing is, is you got to want to learn this. Every day you got to look at this board. You see this board right here? In Ponca, it's called Jean Blasca Scott. But when you say blackboard, you say Jean Blasca Sabe. But in this case, it's white. So therefore, you change it to Scott instead of Sabe. And you have to use these things in this light up here. Who gone by? You got you got to want to learn it. You have to pick out simple things every day. My t-shirt, unanji. My shorts, utan khaya. Simple things. Or even this flip, I don't know, I still call it a heme bay because I don't know how to say slides or flip flop. But you got to want to use these things every day. The drinks that you drink, think about water. Ni, coffee, mankon sabe, tea, khade mankon. Pop, ni gatushi, milk. Manzani, we can say Tesca Manzani, you want to get technical. And so that means cow milk. But the thing is, is you got to use everything that you use on a daily basis. You sugar every day. Jani, salt, neskide, pepper, well, gihan, or well, gihan. A couple ways to say pepper. You use these simple things on an everyday basis. Or your plate, uchpe, a bowl, uchpe. Use a cup, uchpe, jinga. Your utensils, waku, is for four, or you could say wabakapi, or waku, wadate, or you could say tehe for a spoon, that just means a buffalo horn, or you say manze tehe for a metal spoon or silver spoon, or you want to say wooden spoon, you say jean tehe. It's the things that you want to learn, it's simple. That trash can, you would say shishige uji, shishige uji, because shishige means trash, uji means something to be held and if you and if it's a metal can you just say mons de uji mons de uji the metal but the thing is is 
If you make this impossible, it's going to be impossible. But you've got that heart and a desire. Like some of you went to college, you studied something in school, you found a passion, or you like to sing and you found something. What did you do? You practice that everything you did to achieve them goals that you want to do. If you want to achieve this, it's achievable. It's achievable. And let me tell you guys something. And my family tell you, I had a learning disability. I was in a learning disability class I was seven, in seventh grade, and I went to speech impediment classes because I had speech impediment. So I went to speech therapy. But I didn't let that stop me. I had nothing I did until one day they, they, they tested me. They said, you didn't have a learning disability like everybody else, but I was autistic because I was so angry. I, I couldn't see right because of the hate. And so therefore, but once I learned how to cope with the hate, the, the repressed anger, the repressed uh, uh, remorseful feelings I had for my father being dead, I learned to deal with it. So we have to find ways to deal with everything that flaws you as a human because that makes you perfect because God made you just the way you are. And so therefore, in anything you do, you set roadblocks in them, you're going to have a roadblock. You say, I can't do it. You won't be able to do it because, for one, you didn't make the attempt. And then when people, let me tell you something, when you, when you make an attempt and you want to try something, you say, you got stolen. When you say you have the ability or someone that wants the ability to do some ukihi, you have to use them kind of words. When you think, I can't do this, find that word in Ponka that says, I can. Uwaki. Uwakihi. And if you say, I can't, say, Blia. Blia means I cannot. Nia means you cannot. Udaki, he means you can. It's just like in English. You got these positive words, these negative words. What are you going to choose? That's what we have to work on. We have to work on. Let me tell you something. So many people told me I couldn't do a lot of things, and I've achieved it by prayer and consistency. I was told I wasn't meant to be seen. C21, I'm past that. I was told I couldn't ever be nothing more than what I was, a drunk and an alcoholic. I got 19 years sober. I was told I'd never be a better man. I am today. It's all what you want in mind. And a lot of people, that they're going to be on. You're going to see people that you got to help them, not make fun of them. When you see them, when they can't do something, they're having difficulty doing it, help them. You see someone that looks like they're so distraught and like, Hey, are you okay? You want to talk? Uh, I'll listen. What you want to do? Me right now. You see somebody that's having a hard time carrying stuff. Man, don't ask them. Get over and help them. You see an old woman trying to cut an elderly woman trying to carry wood. Man, get over there and get that wood from her. You see grandpa still trying to carry water from the creek. Get over there and help them. Don't ask. Act. Because when you ask, you're giving yourself a way out. Hopefully he won't. I hope you don't. I hope you don't need my help, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do that kind of stuff. Be, be proactive and be active. Because the people that are in make, make excuses. I'm not talking about nobody in here. But I've seen it in my whole life before I went to prison. I've seen it while I was in prison. I've seen it while I was there. <coughs> people, some people always want help when they can do it on their own. Some people want a handout when they have the ability to work. And you see some people that just can't. You have to help them. As bunk of people, we're here to help one another. We forgot that as a tribe because we're so modernized, we're so Americanized, whatever you want to call it. But in the old days, when they talked about Thong Wagwan, they're talking about the people. They used to have warriors that, that tied raw hides to their ankles and they speared them into the ground and they vowed to stay there until all the women and children and the elderly aged people or those that were crippled could get away and they staked their life on it. How many of you today will stake your life on helping somebody? You can say it, but how many would really do it? The old punk just did it. We're just a remnant of who they are. But let me tell you something, you're still punk us. And I'm telling you, each and every one of you got the ability to help one of these young ones or these old ones. And it doesn't matter how old you are, you have the ability to pray for somebody. This weekend, I had a rough weekend. Someone stabbed out my car. I didn't have no way. I missed church. I was I was frustrated. And to the, but the devil and to the people that want bad for you, they're going to always work on you. They're going to do bad things to you. But the thing is, is I pray. The thing is, I keep going. I never stop because if I allow people to put roadblocks in front of me that I'm not willing to pass, 
or go around, then I'm not going to make it nowhere. And God, he tells us, how, if you can help yourself, help yourself, and he'll be with you. And old Pompa, they, they didn't have that word to keep for nothing. You have the ability, each and every one, you, you all have it. It's up to you if you want to try. Because there's going to be so many that don't want to try. And one of you guys that try hard enough, you might be a lot for all those that are trying, whether it's good or bad, or whatever they're going through, sadness, death. We had a death in the trial the other, you know, just today. You know, they just buried our innocent today. And Cindy Buffalo. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is, what I'm trying to get you guys to do is see that this language in the culture, they go hand in hand. It goes in hand in hand with our life, our day to day life. Is it from praying, from eating, from using the restroom, to helping people, from working? It all goes together. It goes in that circle of life. And you guys have to realize that. Now I'm going to show you guys something. Now these are simple right here. Does anybody want to come tell me what these mean? They might know most of these already we've done in our classes except for this one right here. What does Wakanda mean? God. No, it's a page. No, in the spirit, Beijing means bad. No, it's a So what does that mean? Hmm. It's the devil or a demon. Bad spirit, but both, all, all three are correct. Bad spirit, demon, or devil. They stand for negative, that's positive. Ukihi, who knows what Ukihi means? What does it mean, Elena? <laughs> Can the ah the ah the ah can and not able to Ibaham the gun Ibaham no. Gong Jinga. Gong Jinga. That's to know, not know how, or not capable of achieving something. Not know how. Thawde, remember we talked about it, Thawide. But we used it in a, the I to you form, Thawide. It meant I love you. So, Thawde, what does that mean? To love. Father, to love. It can also be used as Tabai. To hate. To hate. And I could go on and funk up, but I want to give you guys an example. You guys listening back there? Wakanda. What does that mean? 
Don't be afraid to say it. Don't be afraid to say it. What does it mean? Huh? Yes. Ukihi. Lia. Ibaha. Don't you know? Not know how. Thale. Itale. Now let me tell you something. Everybody that wants to help in this language, everybody that wants to be a part of a Bible study, everybody that wants to be a part of a sweat lodge, or wants to do something positive, I'm willing to help and accept them because I was so negative in my life. I didn't see it. I was blind by hate. But we have to remove them things that cause you to be blinded. We're blinded in everything. I'm proud of you coming here, Lisa. I'm proud of all these non non people that want to Attempt because we have so many pumpkins that don't care if this language dies. But let me tell you something. The biggest thing that I, I, I don't like is because I can talk a lot of praise in pumpkins, but I'm, I'm kind of scared when I talk to God. You know, but I, I just talk to him simply and not the whole will come up. He will come up. Tell you who are, I'm going to leave. Long John. Lee Shinge talk. Who do we think I'm going to I just said, God help me. I got hardship and difficulties in my life, but I trust in your son. That's a simple thing. Just talk to God. Without the whole wakanda. Now we need it. Not money. That means God, I, I always love you. I love you forever. And you can talk to that with your own people, your own children that way, but you gotta be willing to try. Be willing to make the attempt, because let me tell you something. People want a beer tonight, they can't be here. I got a son that's real sick right now, and if you guys could remember him in your prayers, his name's Kevin. That's my oldest boy. You know, I had to buy him a lot of medicine, and he's on a lot of antibiotics. You know, he don't got the coronavirus, but there's an upper respiratory that's it's also killing people. And uh, he just too feverish, he couldn't be here tonight. You know, he, you know, he's a real, he's really going through some things in his life, but, but he wants to be here for this and he couldn't be here. And I tell you, he's frustrated, but it's better that he's home because he's too sick. And so you have people that's gonna be that way, but the thing is, is and, and, and for you people that are married, for people that love love to have a husband, and you know, I'm gonna use these, these young guys, they love each other back here, it seems, appears. Learn to tell each other that you love one another. Learn to tell how you feel about each other in Bunker. Learn to tell God what you're going through. I just told God in that simple prayer, I'm going through some hard things in my life. But no matter what, I trust in his son. Or you could say, I trust in you. If you're non-Christian, walk on to Hulu, we have only creator, or savior, God, great mystery. I trust in you. Learn these simple things. And I'm telling you, that even if you just say every day, in Dada Hulakonda, in Dada Bluga, well, Krishna, God, I'm thankful for everything. That's all I just said. In Dada Bluga means everything. We can say Ida the Blue, but but Ida the Blue is more common in Ponga. But it's either way said, we understood. Well, Krishna means I am thankful. Way Krishna means she or he is thankful. We have to learn, and, and uh, as we grow along and progress, we're going to get more advanced than what we're talking about. And each one of you guys have the opportunity that, that's at a slower level to get a hold of me or to let Elena know. And we'll work with you on an individual level. And those of you that are more advanced or have more things that you want to learn, or questions and senses you want to say, I could help you with that too. But I, I can't stress it enough with that packet of 40 sheets I gave you. Don't just <coughs> sit there. Don't leave it just laying around. Read it. 
Make use of it. You got a dictionary. Don't worry about them words in that dictionary. Worry about the beginning of that, the first 40 pages, because them words ain't nothing. Because if you can't formulate a sentence, they're meaningless. Just like Grandpa told us earlier. How many words you know, Grandpa? 560 words and you can't put a sentence together. But he came here to, to learn here and we're going to teach each other that way. And that, let me tell you something, the vocabulary is good because he's got a head start on a lot of you. All you got to do is remember the simple things, whether it's your body parts, the clothing you wear every day, your utensils, everything that you do when you're eating, sitting down, the simple food that you eat. I got something that uh, they didn't even print it out yet, but I got something for you that I'm also going to say it in Ponca. And if there's a, there's a command for me, I'll also say it in one with dollars because I understand the one with dollars just like I do the man. Because after my grandfather died and, and La Varela, I'm from Harry's Buffalo, I didn't hear it. I heard nothing from women speaking. And sometimes I'll, I'll say a one with way to sit quicker than I will a man. I'll just, oh, I can check myself. <laughs> But these simple things like this, negative and positive, and maybe to you, to some of you, this ain't negative. But when you are thinking evil thoughts, when you are, you feel like I can't, or when I don't know how, or I hate somebody, circle what it is and work on the I can'ts. Work on the not know how, work on the things that you hate, work on the evil things that go through your mind, and figure out how you can be achievable how you can think positive, how you can know how, how you can love. This is simple everyday life I'm talking about here. And those of you who don't understand it, everything we're talking about here is everyday life. Just like you got, you're so uh, Americanized, just like me, that we talk about people. We, we get mad and we don't like this. Oh man, I don't got no seasoning in it. I don't like this. It don't taste good. We have to be thankful for the food that you got. What happened to be, oh, well, he's got Walmart clothes. I want these clothes from the buck. Well, I want something Gucci. Be glad that you got something because one day you might be coming into a situation where you ain't going to have nothing. You might be homeless. Well, when I was in the Wichita, Kansas, I saw so many homeless people. It was insane. And then I felt the strongest when I was up there. I haven't felt that yet because I haven't got the free ability when I get this off to go testify to preach to do like I said and those of you ain't Christian this ain't nothing against you I'm a Christian but I want to do food drives I want to sit there and walk around to all these pumps I know that they're having a hard time all you guys are struggling with addiction I want to help you I want to just stand with you maybe even just listen to what you got to say what's making you feel this way those that you lost your parents or lost a loved one I want to sit there and pray with you I want to sing songs let's make a song together because I make I'm a song maker there's all these different things we could do. Let's work out. Let's walk. But you got to be willing. You have to be willing to do it. And when you say, I should have put will to be willing on it, and then you got to be unwilling. Let me put that on it. Hold on. That means to try or to attempt. And in some cases, when it refers to food, to try to taste it. But there's a lot of words to taste. But this is this is the real meaning. Just means to try or attempt. But it can be used to taste food. Food, the object, it means to be unwilling to do anything. Food, the object, be unwilling, not willing to try. Somewhere down the road, we gotta start learning how to do uh, simple things like saying "me don't" because I, I'm not, uh, I'm not the here. 
That means what time is it? We have to start learning simple things because it's simple everyday things. And let's go eat. Let's walk. Let's go. Let's stop. Stop. Go. You have to be willing to want to learn these simple things in everyday life. Let me tell you something. And uh, I got a friend that's got a bunch of games and uh, Ponka already made up. They're old sneak Ponka. They want to get in. They want to uh, meet with uh, Elena. And so hopefully we can get them games and uh, do that because they're still Ponka. And I told them about Elena has two things that she does. And one is her counting. Her counting fast. I really think that's cute. I like that one. And then she had that other one that we haven't uh, put up here yet. It's rock, paper, scissors. And like I, like I told her, it's eating it. What about it? He loved us now, but he's sitting. And then she says to shoot, he loved us for a man, he loved us for a woman. But those things, it's just four simple words in Ponca. He did. What about it? He loved us now. He loved us. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Or like you're saying, go. Madinga, Madinga. But you have to be willing to try. And, it, and, and, you, and you relatives that are older, if you've got some kind of game or something you want to try or something that might help you to learn or help us to teach better, I want all that. And so you guys, when you're at home and you're watching, think about all these different things that we're talking about here and then give us some ideas and tell us your suggestions because it all means good. And I'm telling you, we can do it because I'm telling you from, from me to Elena, achievable and each one of you means something and I'm telling you Elena's got so many things that she thinks I'm not listening I'm listening you guys think I'm not listening I'm listening but don't be afraid to make it known look eagle or brother uncle grandpa or grandson let's try this and we're going to do it because the only thing that's going to hold us back is is the fear of making the attempt and the fear of failure and remember, if you fail at anything, get back and get back up and try again. But these are the simple things that I thought about. She gave me the idea. And that's what I'm saying. We have to think about these stuff because there ain't one of you guys in here negative or positive because for one negative because you're here. So you just being here is something that's positive. And then you can say negative or positive, you just say positive ooh the negative is what? If you guys didn't know Ponca, how would you say negative? It's the same word for bad. Huh? Yes. Ooh, the. Yeah. Positive, negative. It's just simple things like this that might touch your heart and make you remember. And this is what we do. And one for our guest speakers, we're gonna have a uh, written party singing Ponca hymns on Thursday with Brian Stoner. And Brian, I forgot to tell you today, but brother, we're calling you out. I need you, brother. I love you. Sorry about the short comments. <laughs> I know he's watching. Auntie, if you see him, that brother needs him. I need you. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here, and if uh, my partner here, she has anything to say, because she's got a lot of good things to say, and I'm glad you're here, Elena. If anybody has any questions or comments, be open. Oh, that's okay. I'll get it, bring it tomorrow. I'll show somebody. And also, hopefully, uh, these guys will put our little boards up, too. Because as soon as we get these other boards put up, Elena's going to use this board right here to, and teach these younger, guys, these younger kids if they want to learn what she has to teach them. And we're going to work on that, her, her uh, activity. And she's going to teach them in a different area. This is something that she wanted to do, and I think it's a good idea. And then on these other two boards, I'll teach what I'm going to teach. Excuse me. 
So I think that'll help out too with the youth and the older people because I'm kind of old. I'm not that old. But if you guys have any questions uh, or you got any comments, the floor is open to anybody. Okay. So you. Yeah. I'll write it down. I got a recipe for it too. Ponka, there's three ways to say it. Two old ways. You say umatsne, or some people just say umatsne, or they say wamuski uh, wejije, uh, and that just means fried. Literally means fried bread. But the old way is umatsne. And when you say umats nets, then that means it's, say like this is a pan. When you say umats nets, that means that you're cutting it. And I guess they were cutting that bread in squares. And then they put it in the fryer. That's how they say umats nets. That's what that means. To, it's to cut something, an object. What time was it, you know? Okay. Where well, everybody says it. Yeah, where everybody yeah. says it, just because it's hard to remember. Yeah, because that, that's what she brought up too. And that's why we're here lately, I haven't got to do, do that because they was letting her help me, you know, like um, really help me, but now they kind of pulled her away, so I don't really get to speak with her and teach her. But I wanted her to be active in that way, you know, because it's supposed to give her confidence in speaking. When you say positive, you say ooh da, ooh da, ooh da. When you say God, you say wakonda, wakonda. We'll practice with these little short ones right here. Wakonda. Don't be afraid to say it. Let me hear you say it, Gandhi. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Wakanda. And a lot of people say Wakanda. It don't matter at this right now. Just you're just trying to say it. So Wakanda. And when you say to have the ability or to can do something, you can, or something that's achievable, you say Ukihi. Ukihi. And to know, Ibaha. Ibaha. To love or to like, that's just one way out of five ways or six ways to say it. Stade, stade, like that. You said it right. Stade, stade. You would say stade, but you say stade, but you don't. I can't make it strong because it's not meant to be strong. But there's some, when you say stade, stade. Now it's making me say that because that's another way to say to love or to like. It's more pronounced in the X. It's more distinct. And once you're setting it, like, say it where well, you can hear it. But this one's softest. To try or to, imp, to, to attempt is. To say negative or bad, you say biage. Some people say biage, like biage. It's understood when a lot of people say it that way. They said it their whole lives that way. But but I've had it drilled in my head. Like biage, biage, biage. And there's also another way you can say that. You can say peje, peje, peje. Same thing. Just like you got where it says bad, bad spirit or evil spirit. That see, that says. And then when you say can't, you say the. You got the. Ah, the brim. The ah. The ah. The ah. It's like you're saying the ah. The ah. The. Your pause on that, and then you say ah. The ah. And then when you say not know how or not have the ability. To do something is 
Go, Jinga. Go, Jinga. And to say to hate somebody or dislike, that could also be dislike, but it's also used, it's a strong word to say hate. In Ponca, they say it's a strong word to use. It's not good to use that word. Itade, itade, itade. Itade. Say itade. Itade. And then someone that's unwilling or someone that's refused, oh, it's just you got a little banged up head. And so anyone that's reluctant, that could also mean reluctant, unwilling, or, or not willing to attempt. It's udiage, udiage, udiage. And then it's beautiful once you conjugate it. Udiage, udiage, udiage. It changes. Ah. Ooh, they all get means unwilling or reluctant to do something or attempt something. But those are today's uh, words. But I, I encourage you to really practice uh, from your handout or your, from your punk dictionary. Then first one through forty, because it's in, important to learn those articles before we can really move on in language. And we're going to keep on every week. We're going to add like. Before we go on to uh, our uh, culture about Christian hymns and Ponca, we're gonna do uh, a few vocabulary words referring to food and your plate and your utensil, the utensils and stuff. And then and when Elena's ready to do these other deals, but like I said, uh, we got a little group that we are, that uh, she's a part of. There's four of us, and one of them was a. Uh, a Northern Ponca teacher at one time. And they got a bunch of them games up there and they want to talk to her about it, but we got to get a hold of her. So, Auntie, if you want to pray for us, we're going to eat. Timmy. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Let's go.